Hello, in this tutorial, we are going to cover setting up Bootstrap and Material. So let's quickly, let's go over what Bootstrap is and what Material is. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you already know, but let's just do a quick overview. So Bootstrap is a front-end, mobile-first, responsive framework. It powers most of the responsive websites out there in some form or another it is a fantastic framework it's completely free it's open source it's been around for many years now and they're on version 4 beta as of creating this version of video and even though it's in beta it's more than stable to use it's been stable to use since i think like alpha 3 or 4 maybe even earlier than that so and also even though we're using bootstrap beta you can still apply this tutorial for combining another version of Bootstrap, whether that's an older version of Bootstrap or even a newer version of Bootstrap with Material. So what is Material? Well, I created a video a couple of years ago on how to integrate Bootstrap with Material Design Lite. And Material Design Lite, it was a framework that was built on top of Google's material design philosophy it was created by Google themselves and essentially the framework provided a bunch of elements and components that used that material design that sort of flat look and it had well provided a bunch of components whether it was cards buttons sidebars all of that good stuff generally speaking bootstrap has a superior grid system it is more supported it has a thriving community so i prefer using bootstrap and i recommend using something like bootstrap for the overall structure of the website but if you want that modern clean look you'll have to go a little outside of bootstrap their components are good that are built in but you want something different there are frameworks that are built on top of bootstrap that provide the material design philosophy but generally speaking why use one of them when you can use the original bootstrap and use material or material design light so what is material in co compared to material design light would you want to use material over material design light in some scenarios and vice versa in others well material design light as i've created it this video is on version 1.3.0 most likely bar any major problems they won't be updating it because when they was creating version 2 so this is a brief history of mdl when they was creating version 2 it was ex expanding into all different realms it was having a lot of new features added and eventually became its own framework which is material so material is the new material design light Unless you specifically want to use MDL for whatever reason, maybe it's to support an older website or there's something in there that is not quite working or not in the new material framework, I recommend using material. So now that we've got that out of the way, so we just spent quite a while just explaining the philosophy of it and the history of it. Now let's actually show you the process. Luckily, the process is extremely simple. You want to go to getbootstrap.com so it is getbootstrap.com there'll be links in the description so you don't need to remember all of this and then by default you'll be taken to this page and again i'm going to be using the beta but you can use any version you want whether you want to use an alpha or an older version that is fine so once you've done that what you want to do is go to get started and this will take you to the introduction page and you want to grab this starter template so copy this paste it into your favorite text editor mine is sublime text i would definitely recommend downloading this it's available on linux it's available on mac and windows it's a fantastic text editor so save this i'm going to save it to my desktop as index html so let's just open it up and see what we get so we got this little hello world inspect we've got no console errors and it's included the style sheet and the javascript files that are needed for bootstrap so that is actually bootstrap all set up we're using cdns to get the css file and the javascript files feel free to download these files manually 
and just put them in a local directory whether that's local on your computer or local on a server and yeah feel free to organize them into a css folder a javascript folder possibly probably called js but i'm just using cdn the the process is exactly the same so now let's integrate this with mdl or not mdl sorry material so you want to go to material.io you want to go to components click on web you want to go to documentation then you want to go to getting started and now if you scroll down what we have is a basic template so this is just a skeleton index.html so you can do the mdc typography if you want as the class we're not we don't want that because we just want the odd component from then overall we'll be using bootstrap so what you want to do is grab this link so this style sheet so everything else can remain the same because essentially in terms of the meta tags it uses the same system so just copy that and put this after the bootstrap and we'll add a comment just so you know what it is so this is material sorry, google that's what i'm going to put and let's just sort this out so it's all on the same line and i all honestly i always like to close off the style sheet tags it's not necessary it actually even meta tags as well it's just a habit from using xml it's just good practice to do it so what we will do now is that's the material setup for css but if you want to use the javascript side for like dyna dynamic components such as animations then you're going to want this right here so you want to copy that and just paste it after this so this is this is material by google and they are also doing a window.mdc auto in initialize we'll leave that up to you depending on what features of material you use but we've got it all set up now so if we save that go back to our window it hasn't changed you might be thinking it hasn't changed has it even worked and yes it has the way we can tell is by actually using some features of well bootstrap and material so what we'll do is go to the bootstrap page go to components we'll grab the jumbotron component i always love using this as an example so copy this and we'll get rid of this right here and before we paste that code into here we're going to want to add a div and this div is just going to contain all of our main content so it's going to have a class of container so this is the way you use bootstrap you have a div within the body you usually only have one that has a class of container you can either have container or container fluid container fluid just spans the entire width of the browser without any restrictions on its wideness and if you want more information about that feel free to check out our videos regarding bootstrap and feel free to check out the bootstrap website there'll be a link in the description to that so in here you want to add another div and this is going to have a class of row and I won't really go into too much, but this is essentially just used to organize a single row on your website. Again, this is just a bootstrap thing, so feel free to check it out. And now I'm gonna add one more div before we add the Jumbotron code. I'm gonna have a class of col-12. This just means that this div within the row spans all 12 columns of the grid system that is used within bootstrap again if you want more information feel free to check out the bootstrap tutorials that i've already done and the bootstrap website so now let's paste 
the code that we copied into here and let's sort it out let's do some indentation now that that's that sorted save that let's refresh the page as you can see we now have a pretty darn cool jumbotron and it is responsive i will leave that for you to test but i've already tested it and it is responsive what we're going to do now is actually replace this button here which is a bootstrap button located here with a material button so if we go back to the material website go to components there are several ways to get to the components page you probably would have seen it while we were navigating to the documentation page we'll just use something simple like a button because again that's what we want to do replace a button and we are going to just get a raise button copy that and we're going to just replace that with this like so indent it and i'm going to say i am material i am material and now if we go back refresh as you can see we have a material button actually i don't think we really need this this paragraph tag so we still have the button we just don't really need that let's just open this back up and what i'm going to do is show you what happens if i remove all of the material code we added to set it up if i refresh as you can see we just get a normal button we don't have the material button so now let's just well go back to it we have the material button so that is it for setting up bootstrap with material we can use any of the features of bootstrap now any of the features of material and combine them for fantastic web applications there will be a link in the description to a github page which will contain all the source code that we wrote in this video so feel free to check that out if you have any questions regarding the process or anything else feel free to post them on our educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk and while you're there feel free to check out the 15,000 plus free videos that are at your disposal you don't even have to sign up to check out any of the content and as usual thank you for watching and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And as usual, I will see you in the next video.